Laparotomy Simulation Model. Hello, my name is Jasmine Patel, and I am one of the obstetrics and gynecology residents at the University of Connecticut. In this video, we will introduce you to a simulation abdominal wall model that we use to teach our students and residents the techniques of laparotomy. The learning objectives of this video are as follows. Review the list of supplies and materials that you will need to create the laparotomy simulation model. Show the step-by-step -step process of constructing the laparotomy model. And demonstrate how the laparotomy model can be used to simulate a fan and steel laparotomy. The first thing that you will need to do is to plan a trip to your local fabrics or craft store. Now we're going to take a look around and make a list of the items that you will need and about how much they will cost. One 1 inch regular density foam chair cushion. One 20 by 20 inch piece of felt at about $6 per yard. One 20 by 20 inch piece of 4 gauge clear vinyl at about $3 per yard. One 20 by 20 inch piece of maroon headliner, about $11 per yard. One 20 by 20 inch piece of blackout ivory curtain lining, at about $7 a yard. And in case you didn't know, you're going to need to get all of this material cut. And this is what the materials will look like after they've been cut. A small bundle of red yarn at about $4. A small glue gun for $7 and spray glue for $15. A grommet kit with 10 grommets and an anvil for about $10. And you can get all of this for $40 with a coupon. On the next two slides, we will provide you with a written list of the materials that you will need so that you can pause the video and copy down your own shopping list. Now it's time to start putting everything together. In this next segment, we will go through a step-by-step -step process for constructing this laparotomy model. Cut two pieces of red yarn to the length of the chair cushion. These will simulate the superficial epigastric vessels. Incise the chair cushion with an X-Acto knife or scalpel in the area of the superficial epigastric vessels. Place the red yarn into the groove that you just cut into the chair cushion. Do this for both sides. Glue the 20 by 20 inch piece of felt to the chair cushion using the spray glue. This works best if you flip over the felt and attach one half at a time. Place this piece aside and allow it to dry. Cut out about a 4 inch wide strip of the 20 by 20 inch piece of maroon headliner to create the individual rectus muscles. Use a glue gun to strongly fix the maroon headliner to the underlying clear vinyl. Place the line of hot glue approximately down the middle third of the strip of maroon headliner. Again, flip over the edge of the material to apply the hot glue to the correct location. Fix the remaining portions of the maroon headliner to the clear plastic vinyl using the spray glue. Glue the contralateral rectus muscle to the underlying peritoneum in a similar fashion using the glue gun followed by the spray glue. To attach the rectus muscles and peritoneum to the fascia, flip over the dried clear vinyl so that the maroon headliner is in contact with the 20 by 20 inch piece of ivory curtain lining. Then flip over the lateral edge of the vinyl and fix it to the curtain lining using a line of hot glue. Flip over the entire rectus peritoneum layer and then apply spray glue up until the medial border of the rectus muscle. Flip this layer back over and smooth it down to stick the glue to the curtain liner. 
Place another line of hot glue in the area of the linea alba to stick the clear vinyl directly to the curtain liner. Finish this layer off by first using spray glue to fix the other rectus bustle to the fascia, and then hot glue on the edge to hold everything together. Since this layer is the most confusing, here is a diagram of the locations to place the hot glue and the spray glue in order to attach the rectus bustles and peritoneum to the fascia. Once the above layer has had a chance to dry, you will attach it to the underside of the chair cushion using spray glue. This again is best done by flipping over the curtain liner layer and gluing one half at a time. After all of the layers have had a chance to dry, mark with a pen the location for the grommet holes. Next, use a pair of fine scissors to puncture through all layers to get the grommet holes started. The same scissors with tweezers can be used to excise a two centimeter circular hole through the vinyl, headliner, and curtain. The underlying chair cushion is then dissected out and removed with scissors and tweezers. Finally, the model is flipped over and a two centimeter circular piece of the felt is cut out with the scissors allowing for a finger to be easily passed through all the layers of the model. This is what the model will look like when all four grommet holes have been cut out. It is important to remove all of the two centimeters of material from each hole in order for the grommets to fit appropriately. Finally, over a firm surface such as a piece of wood on the garage or basement floor, Apply the two halves of the grommets onto either side of the grommet hole. Then hammer into place using the small metal anvil which comes in the grommet kit. Perform this step to place grommets in all four of the grommet holes. The model is eventually held into place over a simulation mannequin using a bungee cord pass through the grommets. This is what our simulation model looks like when it is all done and dry. Each model takes about 30 to 45 minutes to create and must dry overnight. In this last segment, we will perform a fan and steel laparotomy on our simulation model. A transverse skin incision is made with the scalpel. The subcutaneous adipose tissue is dissected down to the fascial layer. Care is taken to avoid the superficial epigastric vessels. The fascia is cut in the midline using the scalpel. The fascial incision is extended with scissors. The superior edge of the fascia is grasped with coker clamps, elevated and the rectus muscles are dissected off. The inferior aspect of the rectus muscles and fascia are dissected in a similar fashion. The rectus muscles are separated in the midline to expose the parietal peritoneum. The peritoneum is grasped with two small clamps and entered sharply with scissors. The peritoneal incision is extended superiorly and inferiorly and the laparotomy is complete. And that's about it. We hope you enjoyed this video on the construction and use of a laparotomy simulation model. Have fun making your own and good luck on your teaching and training.